a very innovative system which is system of rice intensification sri is it as it is called as is used specifically to reduce the amount of water which is used for growing rice understand rice is not an aquatic plant if excessive water is used there are uh, definite problems that come with the rice cultivation so adequate amount of water if it is used it is the most optimum solution for rice uh, or the paddy cultivation so what happens under this system is first of all it requires low levels of water the second is it is extensively labor intensive task so definitely you require a lot of labor and the uh, the weed must be removed by hand so there are special tools which help you remove the weed through hand uh, but Using this technique, there could be nearly 20 to 100 percent increase in the yield of the rice cultivation. Also, up to 90 percent reduction in the seed requirement. There can be, we can say, uh, various benefits which are adopted not only for rice, but this technique is also adopted later for sugar cane. Who has discovered it? So again, interesting. In 1983, this technique was discovered by a French Jesuit, Father Henry D. Lorraine, uh, and he belonged to Madagascar. And this technique talked about using organic manure as much as possible, uh, placing the rice paddy cultivations in square patches. So clear square patches to be demarcated and young seedlings should be grown widely spaced on those square pass, um, uh, square pattern there should be irrigation that keeps the soil moist but not inundated now what are the benefits it requires less amount of seed how much less just 2 kg per acre in contrast to normal cultivation where you require 20 to 25 kg of seeds per acre. So a huge difference that we see here. The next is 50% more man days of labor is required for transplantation. The transplantation has to be a little early. Uh, just two weeks time frame is sufficient to transplant it. If it is more then there could be um, damage which could be associated with the paddy cultivation also minimizing the transplantation shock is very very important only one inch of water should be maintained in the field okay so that's another very very important thing that you have to maintain only one inch of water in the field in order to have it now this technique is not a standardized uh, technique uh, but it has a fixed technological method when i say fixed technological method what does it imply it has a set of ideas a methodology how you should do it what are the patterns required for land seed water the nutrient the amount of human labor so if all those methodologies is rightly applied then this system definitely has its own benefits now this system has proved through breakthrough initiatives in countries like vietnam vietnam is one of the case studies where under the 2020 climate uh, climate policy breakthrough government initiatives of vietnam have been lauded the real reason is the methane emissions which are seen from paddy cultivation have been significantly reduced because of uh, the system of rice intensification that is seen it also reduces the flooding it uses more organic fertilizers it reduces the uh, the amount of emissions of methane into the atmosphere now 30 percent greenhouse gas emissions have been reduced because of the use of system of rice in intensification and that's one of the researches that oxford has quoted also more than 50 percent reduction in the greenhouse gases per kg of rice produced is seen so that's again extremely important to understand now those are some of the breakthrough revolutions we have seen under this process of rice intensification but why this is important the real reason is it requires less water so when we are talking about depleting water tables when we are talking about groundwater uh, and the concerns related to 
cropping in case of climate change and adverse climatic conditions this system of rice intensification is a unique process to help that grow so this can be definitely used as one of your case studies when you are writing your main answers specifically pertaining to environment geography we'll be discussing many such interesting case studies which are suitable for your answer writing and also important for your prelims as well so stay tuned wish you very good luck do follow the links below for more information